Our, our new sustainability initiative has focused on the size of Lego boxes. And we've managed to reduce the size quite a bit in a dialogue with retailers and consumers. And that will allow us to use much less cardboard and also reduce the amount of transportation because the boxes are simply smaller and the retailer will have more space in stores and therefore be more productive. I think there's a very large opportunity to do what's good for the environment and also make it good for business. And I think there are many uh, glass ceilings, so to speak, to that dialogue, if you like, where people are, feel boxed in and say, well, I can't do this, what's right for the environment because it would be bad for business. And I think with some creativity and innovation, you can create synergistic solutions. But yes, there are also trade-offs to be made where you'd have to say that the business have to compromise a little bit to make sure that we also protect our environment. Well, it's been our strategy for the past uh, six to seven years to manufacture this setup, but we are all the time fine-tuning it. And some of the latest announcements we've made relate to concentrating around uh, fewer factories for decoration and packing to make sure we can reduce the time that we spend in traveling components internally in the Lego manufacturing system. To maintain a consistent uh, product quality, Lego is 85% internally manufacturing. And the manufacturing in Lego today happens at only four manufacturing sites. These are very large manufacturing sites, but that allows us to keep the capabilities at a very high level and to be able to do a very thorough job on uh, product control and quality assurance. In addition, we only use a very small base of additional Asian and American-based suppliers for our manufacturing. So that's how we work to really make sure we can control the quality at all times. This has been a very interesting effort for us. We felt that there was a scope for reducing the amount of air in our boxes. But at the same time, it's necessary to have some space around the content in our boxes to optimize the manufacturing process and keep costs low. So we challenged ourselves, could we reduce the amount of uh, size, the, the size of our boxes, because that would reduce cardboard, but it would also reduce uh, transportation, and therefore it would have all of it a very positive uh, climate impact, but it would of course also have a major cost advantage. Our major concern was how would the retailer react uh, with the boxes taking up less, less uh, shelf space? Would they look impressive enough in their stores? And how would consumers react? So we uh, tested it a bit and we tested different types of uh, box expressions and box executions. And we're very excited with the results we've created. And we believe that uh, we'll have great success with the initiative and it will significantly reduce the amount of transport and therefore also the amount of CO2 consumed. So in terms of CO2, we are still grappling with how to measure our CO2 impact because the Lego group itself, of course, has a certain two, uh, CO2 impact. But actually, if you look at the full value chain, there's also a CO2 impact from the distribution of products through retailers and from the manufacturing of raw materials. And we also would like to work on that angle. So we are engaging with retailers and with suppliers to see how we can optimize and minimize the overall uh, CO2 emission.